Here we'll show you how to draw a ray diagram for a concave mirror when the object is outside the center of curvature. In a concave mirror, this is the shiny side of the mirror. Here's the principal axis going through the middle of the mirror. Here's the focal point F for this mirror. The 2F point is twice as far from the mirror's surface as the focal point, and it is shown here. The 2F point is also called the center of curvature, C. If the arc of the mirror was extended to form a complete circle, point C would be the center of this circle. We'll use a yellow arrow for our object and place it on the principal axis. In this example, the object is farther from the mirror than the center of curvature, C. We start by drawing a line straight from the top of the object to the surface of the mirror. It must be parallel to the principal axis. Now we bounce this ray off the surface and extend it down through the focal point, like this. Next we draw a line from the top of the object right through the center of curvature, C, and strike the surface of the mirror. Because this ray is going through the center of curvature, it will bounce straight back on the same path. The point where these two reflected rays from the top of the object cross will be the top of the object in the image. Remember the bottom of the object is sitting on the principal axis. So the bottom of the object in the image will also touch the principal axis, here at a point directly above the top of the object. Now that we know where the bottom and the top of the image will be, we can draw the image in. We can use this diagram to summarize the characteristics of an image formed by a concave mirror when the object is outside the center of curvature, C. You can see from the diagram that the image is smaller than the object. Also, the image is upside down or inverted. The position of the image is between the center of curvature and the focal point in front of the mirror on its shiny side. And because the image is formed by solid rays that cross each other, this is a real image. If the sensor of a digital camera was placed here, the image would be recorded on it.